in my career as a paediatric nephrologist or um, I think the development of dialysis and transplantation. Well, I don't know what's happened in the last 20 odd years, but during the time I was doing it, um, I don't think there's much change at all. I had a very good relationship with the local nephrologist right from the very beginning. And I think that was still there when I left. <laughs> So I didn't really see much change. We were very amicable. Mm. We even ran a joint clinic together where we took patients who were getting older and you know chained them to the adult unit. Mm. No, I don't. No, I don't think so. I don't, not locally anyway. I suppose nationally, um, when I started, paediatric nephrologists were a bit of a an upstart, and they became a little bit more uh, well established and acknowledged as people worth talking to. Mm. But uh, that was not locally. That was perhaps nationally. Uh, uh, I looked at this question when you sent it to, to me and I, I really don't know. Um, I mean, my early influences in terms of nephrology were uh, the unit at the MRI, which was headed at the time by Robert Platt and then subsequently by Douglas Black. And Douglas Black especially was a, a lovely chap. I have lots of fond memories of him. And I suppose they introduced me. I worked as an SHR on that unit. Uh, they introduced me to nephrology and I enjoyed it. No. I have no idea what advice I should be giving to a nephrologist today. It's too long since I left. I, well, I found most interesting renal functional studies. Um, I was fascinated by the way the renal tubules behaved. I suppose that goes back to Douglas Black too. Um, not that they did an awful lot of work on it, there's some work on it. Uh, it was interesting too, I, for a while I worked um, in the paediatric unit with uh, John Davis who was a neonatologist and it gave me the opportunity to study a few newborn babies and their kidneys and that was quite interesting too. Well, I'm, I'm, I sometimes ask myself who was my role model, I really don't think I had a role model but I suppose the first two I mentioned before, Douglas Black and, and Robert Platt, in terms of nephrology Pediatric wise, I don't know, I just sort of picked it up as I went along. Again, I can't tell you in the last 20, 25 years that I've been around. Um, <clears throat> looking at it from the outside as a sort of spectator, uh, I regret um, in many ways the way the, uh, the junior doctor programmes are arranged. Um, we, I lived in a very different era where there were more junior doctors on duty but each of them had fewer patients to look after and I found that much better than having somebody dot in, spend a few hours here, go home, pass on to somebody else who doesn't know what's happened. Uh, so I'm not fond of the way the junior doctor programmes have changed. Earliest? Well I suppose the earliest was going to Glasgow uh, which is the meeting that Gavin O'Neill arranged and meeting uh, quite a few other paediatric nephrologists, not just from Britain, of course, but from Europe. Um, I've always been a bit of a pro-European in many ways, and it was great to meet all these other folk. Um, some of whom I'd already met actually in New York, because they'd been uh, in New York at the same time as I was. Um, so I remember that meeting very well. And it was a nice meeting, not too big. We took a bit of a tour of the Scottish Highlands, that was very pleasant. Bit of whiskey and that sort of thing, it was nice. <laughs>